Clover18 here today with another Lego Movie Review. This is set number 70817, the Batman Super Angry Kitty Attack, ages 6 to 12, and it has 115 minifigure, 115 pieces, 3 minifigures, and 1 micromanager. This is a neat looking set. Let's take a look at the minifigures. The first minifigure that we're going to look at today is the Super Angry Kitty. So in another LEGO Movie set, Emmett's Construction Mech, we got the Angry Kitty. But this is the Super Angry Kitty. Because as you can see, she is just so mad. So like, like this Unikitty and some other Unikitties in the LEGO Movie line, this LEGO Unikitty has printing on the plate above her eyes and it's like her eyes are really narrow because she's just so mad she's squinting she's gonna explode as you can see by her teeth are just flaring and there's fire all around and she's just red and orange and really dark a little darker yellow not much on the back just a continuation of the printing that you can find on the front on the front there is not two faces to this unikitty just the one really really angry one now we'll take a look at the Batman minifigure. This Batman minifigure is kind of hard for it to stand up on its own because this is such a big gun that he's holding, which we'll talk about in a minute. But the Batman has its Bat logo on the front, and he's got a head, and I don't really know if that's like the standard Batman torso or anything because I'm not a Batman fan. But I'm actually just going to take the gun off him now and show you kind of what it looks like so he can actually stand Mr. Batman up straight. So here's what the gun, it looks like it can shoot stuff, but it can, it can technically shoot if you wanted to fling it but I don't know if that's designed to shoot. Here, let's put the Batman figure back up. That's his torso. We'll flip it around here to show you that his cape and that he has actually some back printing on the side. So we'll just run the back printing on the back. We'll just move his cape up. We'll take his helmet off and that's what his, his face looks like and there is a back face with another expression. So I don't know, you Batman fans maybe can tell me more information, but that's all I know about this Batman. Finally, last but not least, we're well, kind of least because I don't like this minifigure. It's a great looking minifigure, but it's a bad guy, and we don't like bad guys. It is a skeleton minifigure. It's in light bluish gray. I actually thought it was in white like the other skeleton minifigures, and it actually has a neat, a cool look head. It's like a robot head, and he has the Lego Movie gun with just a little red laser on it. This one's easier to stand up because the gun actually has that little slope area if you just stood it up like that. As you can see, the skeleton does fall, but if you put it like that, he's perfectly fine. Here's what the back of him looks like. Pretty neat there. And no back printing or anything, only printing on his head. Here's the micromanager for this set. There are some cool features to it. As you can see, the front thing here, they move all over the place, the 360, whatever direction you want them in. Uh, this the breaks easy, but no. So you can move them. At the back here, we have the two shooters to shoot. The shooters, we call it. And they go very easy back in here with a Technic brick. It's hard to show you on the camera, but because of the lighting and stuff. But I try my best. And you can just put the shooters back in here like that. A cool feature for the set, besides the shooting, say when Batman shoots it, Oh no, it just exploded the micromanager, now the micromanager is dead. That's cool. It does open up like that. And you know, you just put it, oh, put it on backwards. I guess it doesn't really matter if it's just going to get shot off again. But I like to have it exact. Lots of pieces in this micromanager. Used a lot of the set. Maybe this could be a landing gear. I'm not really sure if that's what it's supposed to be, but you can do that. It makes a little bit more sense. It makes it a little bit leveler more level leveler than that but it, either way it is still very cool thanks for watching this set review of this neat little set the play features in the set are kind of limited because there it is such a small set there's three minifigures and there's only 115 pieces so basically 100 pieces are in this micromanager which is pretty cool a little less than that because of all the minifigure parts but it's a neat set, but there is a couple, as I showed you, some play features with the micromanager. 
but that could get boring after a while with just this one set, so that's why you have to have multiple of the LEGO Movie sets if you're wanting to play with it. If you're not wanting to play and you just want to use the minifigures for photography or animation or just for display, it's a good set for that because it's a really good price point at under $20 for three minifigures, it's a pretty good deal. Che it is cheaper than the double-decker couch, but it is also does not come with as many pieces as the double-decker couch set. So yeah, so thanks so much for watching this video about set number 70817, the Batman Super Angry Kitty Attack. Let me know in the comments what you thought of this video. Just, you can say, hey, I would improve on this, or whatever you wanna say, or even just say nice review. So thanks a lot for watching this video. Don't forget to like this video, share this video with your friends, and of course subscribe. You can also answer the today's video question if we have one. The question can be found in the comments below or in the description. You answer the question in the comments below. Again, thanks for watching. Go check out all my other videos and have a great day.